Hello, Ginther friends. So for today's lesson, we're going to be talking about something called perseverance. Perseverance is a really big word, but what it really just means is that you keep trying your best. Perseverance is where you keep trying your best even when things get hard or even when you make mistakes or you fail, that you keep trying your best, that you keep going, you don't give up, keep trying your best. And I've been hearing from some teachers and I've been hearing from some adults at home that some boys and girls are really struggling and that when things get hard with the work that they just give up or they make a mistake and they just give up and they don't want to try anymore. And what we really want you guys to do is persevere. Use your perseverance to keep trying your best even when things get hard because it doesn't really matter to us if you make mistakes along the way. We're okay with that. If you ask me, when you make a mistake, I celebrate that because when you're making a mistake, it means that you were trying. And if you're trying, that is awesome. So I thought I'd tell you a story about a time where Fiona had to learn about perseverance. So I remember it like it was yesterday. I was at home reading a book, one of my favorite stories. <laughs> oh, Pete the Cat. You know what's wrong? You can't get your math problems to work? Oh, I know, I know it's hard. It's okay. Did you take some deep breaths? Oh, you're still feeling frustrated? Okay, well, you know, no, don't give up. Don't give up, Fiona. Wait, you know what? Let me put this story down and why don't you come over here and I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories. Come on over here. This is one of my favorite stories. It's called Don't Give Up Little Duck, written by Christine E. Stout and illustrated by Timothy Lane. I'm going to read you this story about how we need to try our best, okay? Little Duck felt sad and low. Other ducks flew south, but she couldn't go. Her wing feathers were too short to fly. Little Duck wanted to be up, up, up in the sky. So she wants to fly south. Yeah, she really does, but she can't because her wings are too short. I dream of flying high and fast and free. I want to zip and zoom with the breeze. You can't, said her friend Donkey. You can't leave. You have to stay on the ground with me. So is Donkey being very nice? No, she's not, is she, Fiona? I don't want to stay on the farm. I want to go south where the other ducks are. You can't. You can't fly, Donkey brayed. He shook his floppy ears and trotted away. Little Duck was sad. Donkey made her feel bad. So what do you think, Fiona? Should Little Duck keep flying? Or keep trying to fly? Let's see what she does. She thought and thought, I've just got to try. So even though Donkey said that she couldn't do it, she's going to try anyway. Little Duck stretched her wings and jumped for the sky. She flapped and flapped and flapped. She fell down to the ground with a splat. So she fell right in the mud. Pig waddled by asking, what's happening? Little Duck said, I know I can fly if I keep flapping. Donkey says, you can't, Pig snorted. So why dream? What he said wasn't nice. Pig was acting mean. Okay, so now she's tried to fly a couple times and Donkey said she couldn't do it and Pig said she couldn't do it. So now is the time for her to give up and stop trying? You think she should keep trying? Okay. Little Duck wished she could fly. She felt very sad and began to cry. Don't give up, Little Duck, said an itty bitty voice from under a nut. Oh, look at this. There's an ant lifting up this big nut. Never, ever give up, said Ant. Everyone always told me, you can't. 
but I lifted and lifted and I grew strong. Now I lift big things all day long. Keep trying, little duck, and you'll soon know that you'll be stronger and your feathers will grow. So Ant is telling little duck not to give up, to keep trying. Is Ant being a good friend? Ah. Yes. So little duck jumped and flapped and jumped and flapped. Each time she tried to fly, she fell down in the dirt. Phew, she quacked. A dream is a lot of work. Okay, Fiona, now she's tried a whole bunch of times to fly, and she keeps making all these mistakes, and she's failing, and she's just not very good at it. Is it time for her to give up because she's not good at it, and she's making these mistakes, and it's not going the way she wants? No. You sure you still think she should keep trying? Okay. Up against the barn, Little Duck saw a kite. That'll help me fly. She quacked with delight. So she's trying something different. She didn't get it right the first few times, so she's trying something new. The wind whooshed through the yard and caught the kite. Little Duck went up and up, almost out of sight. But soon the breeze left and went on its way. Down she drifted onto something big and gray. Gray horse said, nay. Brown horse said, nay. Little duck, what are you doing today? I want to fly, she replied. It's my dream to zoom up in the sky. Nay, little duck, said gray horse. Nay, little duck, said brown horse. Why try? Donkey says you can't fly. Slowly the naysayers plodded by. Look at that, Fiona. So now is the time for her to give up. She's tried so many different times. She's even tried using the kite, and each time she's failed, she's making these mistakes, she's not flapping hard enough, whatever it is, it's not working. Is it time for her to finally give up? No. Are you sure? All right, let's see what she does. Uh-oh. Little duck plopped on the ground. Her happy beak turned into a frown. If none of my friends think I can fly, then maybe I shouldn't even try. So she's giving up. No one believes in her, and she's tried so many times, she's just giving up. Zoom! Black and yellow whizzed through Little Duck's gloom. Bumblebee zipped and zagged and zoomed. So look, there's a little bee flying around her head now. Bumblebee flew so fast, Little Duck got dizzy. She was amazed. That bee made flying look easy. Wow, she quacked. I wish I could fly like that. Bee hovered nearby. What makes you think you can't? Little Duck said, my friends say my dreams won't come true. Bee laughed. If I can fly, then so can you. See, my wings are too short and my body's too round. No one believed I would ever leave the ground. So people told Bumblebee he wouldn't be able to fly either, but is he flying? Yeah. But I kept flapping until I grew strong. Now I fly all day long. Try again, little duck, and you'll, you will see. You'll be up in the sky where you're meant to be. So Bumblebee's encouraging little duck to fly. So she's putting her helmet back on. She's going to try again. Little duck stretched her wings and reached for the sky. Her feathers caught the breeze and she sailed up high. Little duck was flying. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bee. Thank you so much for believing in me. Past pig, she zoomed. Past gray horse, she zipped. Past brown horse, she zagged. Little duck soared up as high as she could. The sun on her wings felt really, really good. Back down to the trees she whooshed. Past Donkey she swooshed. Look, Donkey, I'm flying, I'm flying. Donkey, Donkey, why are you crying? Why do you think Donkey's crying, Fiona? Oh yeah, I think you're right. 
Now that you're flying, I'm afraid you're going to leave. I want you to stay on the farm with me. Oh, so that's why Donkey was saying she couldn't fly in the beginning. Not because she was trying to be mean, but because she didn't want her to go. Silly Donkey, I'll always be your friend. I'm leaving for a while, but I'll be back again. Every spring when the pretty flowers bloom, I'll come back and stay on the farm with you. So Little Duck's not even mad at Donkey, and she gives her a hug. The end. And there is Little Duck going to fly with the other ducks. So, Fiona, what can we take from that story? What do you think? Oh, you ready to go try your work again? You are? <laughs> That's what I like. You're not going to give up. Okay, go ahead and go do your work. Nice job, Fiona. See what happens when you don't give up? It's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to mess up. You just gotta keep trying your best and keep trying your best, just like Little Duck. Don't give up. Just keep flapping. And then after that, Fiona actually got pretty good at math. I think she might be better at math than I am now because she learned how to use perseverance to keep trying her best even when things got hard. Didn't matter if she made a mistake, it doesn't matter if she failed at something, she's going to pick herself up and keep trying. And that's what we want you guys to do at home. So from now on, if the work gets hard or you make a mistake while you're doing your work, that's okay. Celebrate that. Learn from that. And just keep moving forward. Keep trying your best. The adults in your life, the teachers, the, your grown-ups at home, we are going to be so excited if you make a mistake but you keep trying. You don't need to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. I make mistakes all the time. Just ask some of the teachers in the building. But I keep trying my best. I keep trying to learn from it. Keep trying my best. We want you guys keep trying your best. Use that perseverance. Be like Little Duck and just keep flapping. Don't give up. All right, guys. I'll see you next week.